Oh, oh yeah, uh, we're gonna be also uh, remembering Pimp C. So if y'all can make it uh, to KOD, my birthday is June 24th. We will have a little special thing for Pimp C. You know what I'm saying? Long live the pimp, man. You know, I know y'all been hearing a lot of, you know, uh, stuff on me and Pimp on the internet. And, you know, y'all just been trying to wonder, out, wonder what's going on. Hey, well, that was my best friend. You know what I'm saying? And for people who keep talking about the sex tape, I told y'all that I seen the sex tape. But it's not who people say it is. I'm not going to say it's Beyonce. I'm not going to say it's... Mary J. Blige, I'm not going to say it's uh, Mariah Carey, I'm not going to say it's Whitney Houston. All I can tell you is that I actually seen the sex tape, but Pimp C wasn't in the sex tape, sex tape no, it was Jay-Z or Beyonce. You know, that wasn't the combination. It was a combination. It was an R&B chick. You know what I'm saying? I, I refuse to say the name, but y'all know how it go. You know what I mean? You know, you mention certain things, you know, you can break up family homes, you can break up, you know, all kind of stuff, you know, so to keep the drummer down, you know, and keep the confusion down. That's why I chose to sit beside on who it is. It ain't that I'm scared or, you know, no, because, you know, I don't fear nothing, you know what I mean? I, I'm probably got one of the strongest forces on the planet, you know what I mean? I got, you know, a lot of people down with me. Ain't nobody gonna let nothing happen to me. That ain't my fear. My my thing is I don't want to break up no homes. I don't want nobody looking at their wife crazy, you know, because whoever did it, this is over 20 years ago, they had to be young when they did it. So, yes, I do have the pimp seat. I did see the Pimp C, uh, I did see a tape that Pimp C had, a sex tape of an R&B chick and a guy that was getting a little money back at the time. He was getting a lot of money. And, uh, you know, it was very interesting. And, you know, but a lot of people seen this tape. That's why I can understand. A lot of people seen the, the, the sex tape, but they trying to make it seem like Pimp and Ken the only one seen it. No, it's all over the internet. I mean, I mean, it's all over the, 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 the city of Houston. Everybody know who I'm talking about. Everybody know who was in this tape. Everybody know who the dude was, you know. It's no mystery, so don't act like, you know, this is a mystery, you know what I mean? But it's not for me to get no clout, you know. I don't need no clout, especially I ain't gonna use my man Pimp. It was a conversation that slipped out when I was in uh, Texas on the Big Talk Show, and then Beehive, he came back and let me clean it up. And now with my man, you know what I'm saying, we clean it up again. And let y'all know, yes, it is a sex tape, but it's not Jay-Z and Beyonce. I can tell you that for sure. I can't tell you who the female is, but I can do sure for sure. Jay-Z wasn't in the equation. And if y'all want to figure out the rest of it, I'm pretty sure y'all mathematicians and scientists, y'all can figure it out. But at the end of the day, man, you know, it was never meant to be a publicity stunt. It was just something that came out of my mouth. You know, we was having a conversation. And, you know, it's a lot of things I can tell y'all about Pimp that'll blow your mind. You know, a lot of y'all, didn't know nothing about Pimp. You know, a lot of y'all didn't know that Pimp, you know what I'm saying, me, he believed that the Pimp was gonna move to the web. You know, he told y'all I was gonna go to the web. Now look at it. Everything is internet. Pimp C predicted this whole web thing, this podcast thing, over 20 years ago. Dope Man. I know y'all remember Dope Man Hood Box Office. I used to be on there. I used to own a part of the company. We had the first podcast with Pimp C. You know, we just never got the footage out. Pimp died. You know, we've been doing this. You know, we've been on this. You know, if y'all go back to www.pimpandcamp.net, those of you old enough to remember that, I did podcasts on there all the time. You know, Too Cool for Calm. I'm on there doing a the podcast. It's just the audio. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we've been in this game. You know, it's a lot of things that me and Pimp C did. You know, Chad said he want to play Pimp C if we do the movie. I'm thinking about talking to the family and working out some logistics on that. You know, as the HHF begin to scale and become more prosperous, you know, we're gonna be able to buy a lot of rights to a lot of things and we can go revisit some things, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm positioning myself to be in the position where I can take over a lot of things and help a lot of people from back in the day get back on their feet and get their just do. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I'm an old school player, you know what I mean? I go from way back in the day, you know what I'm saying? I re I revamped my career, I reinvented myself. I'm back out in front of all these young people and these young people watching me now so I don't wanna talk long but yeah. Oh man, get it out man, you gotta let these folks know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, cause folks always coming up with their side of the story. I don't know what the hell are you talking about out here, man. Well the side of my story is that Pimp C was not in no sex tape. <laughs> That's what all y'all can put that on the, you, you take that to the bank. Now did he have a sex tape? Yes. Do I have the sex tape? No. I wish I did have it. Because I probably would sell it. Unbeknownst. But you know, <laughs> hey, you know, y'all know how I go, man. Hey. You said the record straight. Yeah. Well, man, you know, we're going to be remembering Pimp, you know, and uh, we're going to have a lot of people coming. A lot of celebrities going to be in the building this June 24th at King of Diamonds. 
know what I'm saying? If you want a section, hit me up at 404-790-9627 and I'll hook you up. It's your boy, Wise Guy Q, the mouth of the South, and you already know, we good. And I'm back one more time, just like crack, with the homie, he back on the show, giving us another another blessing coming through the way. Yes, sir. You know I mean, y'all know he really don't need no introduction, but y'all know who this man is over the years. He been doing his thing, <laughs> man, from... Been pimping since been pimping since been pimping. Mm. You know what I mean? And then Pimp C, all these records he has sold with all the, all the, all the different artists, Jermaine Dupri. I mean, I, the list goes on. Like it, it, his resume is impeccable. Y'all know who it is. It's Pimpin' Ken, right here back on the show with us, man. What and up? What up? The homie with us from uh, Hip Hop Fraternity. Boy, Cash, man, what's up with him? You know what I mean? H.A. Jeff in the house. H.A. Jeff. Yes, sir. What's going on, Ken, man? Hey, what's up, Rudy? I'm glad y'all made it out, man. What's up with it? It's always a pleasure to kick it with y'all, man. Yeah, man, it's a pleasure to kick it with you, too. I've been seeing you everywhere, like, we've been bumping into each other at at, at the Ugly Money uh, Media Expo. We came out to the uh, H.A. Jeff Awards. That was a big success. Congratulations on all that, man. Y'all just staying busy, man. What, what, what's going on with you right now? Well, you know, I mean, in order to, you know, black people was free allegedly in 1865. But since 1865, we've been acting more like slaves than we've been acting like free men. But, you know, my job as a man that's, that feels that I'm a free African-American man, a free Moorish American, my job is to show young African-Americans and Moorish Americans what a free man look like. And that means, you know, uh, self-sufficiency. You know, uh, self, uh, you know, uh, mentality. You know what I'm saying? To have uh, 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 financial literacy, have financial uh, uh, benefits and stuff like that. You know, so to be financially secure and to be able to own and be independent and autonomous to this uh, system, right? So you know what I mean? I, I applaud uh, Thorough Good Marshall for Brown versus Boy Education. I applaud Martin Luther King for his in- integration bills and stuff like that, and how we want to integrate into a lunch counter and so on and so forth and use the same bathroom as white people. I applaud them for the equality they were fighting for, but I think that that was one of the travesties in the African American community. It made us more dependent. It made us think that European hotels is better than black hotels, that European chicken was better than black chicken. And you know, when you got a mentality like that, you got people that have been so deprived or people that have been marginalized, then they got the glory and the shame misplaced. So, you know, at Hip Hop Fraternity, my job is to show these young African-American males and females that, you know, you can be independent, you can be upright, independent, and fearless, that you can go out there and you can own your own business, own your own radio station. We don't have to wait for nobody to give us our accolades or our awards. We can give ourselves our awards, you know, and that's what we do at the Hip Hop Fraternity. We award ourselves, you know. We gave Cash an award at the Hip Hop Fraternity Award. You know, he's one of our awardees, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we give uh, 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 our own narrative. We got our own magazine. We got our own radio. You know, we syndicated, you know, my man B has syndicated to us. You know, my man, you know, DJ Screen, he syndicated with us, you know. So we got a lot of people that's tied into the hip hop fraternity that believe in our independence and believe that we the new force in hip hop. You know, our culture, our call, love, peace and respect. Man, love, peace and respect, most definitely, man. I've been following everything y'all been doing and y'all definitely keep the moving. I see y'all got big jigs over there with y'all now. Oh yeah, we form a new a group called the uh, HHF Megastars, which is a big jig. 
uh, NPR, Richie Rich, uh, D Dutch, and uh, my man PB Pluto. And the reason why we call them mega star, we already had all star because they got mega followers. Collectively, between all five of them, uh, all four of them, they have over five million followers, which is uh, some more than some of these in these artists that actually have a deal. Richie Rich got 4.4. Literally have almost five million followers itself. Every time we post up, he getting two to three hundred thousand impressions. You know, and we need that at hip hop. We need that push. We need people like NPR Rich. You know, and people like PB Pluto who got millions and millions in, in a jig of followers. You know, and just got that that traction to push that traction over to the HHL so we actually get this mission done that we want to do so we can showcase people like Cash and show people like D showcase people like Dutch and all the other uh, faithful members that's a part of the hip hop fraternity, you know. And, uh, you know, we kind of like, you know, we may, we're doing the face stuff, you know what I mean? We made some transitions, we made some changes over there because, you know, I want quality people only. I want serious-minded people only. You want to be a part of the hip hop fraternity, you have to be a serious-minded individual. You got to really want to help your people. You can't be partially in part of, of what we got going on. You got to be holy. You got to be all the way in, you know what I mean? You got to be all the chips in. And so, you know, in order to get that type of, uh, you know, that type of ambience, we have to move around some things, and that's what we did. So now we're rebuilding and we're banging in some stronger forces. We're banging in some people that, you know, really serious about hip hop fraternity, some people that got, you know, something to offer. You know, because at the beginning, you know, I was feeding people free, mm -hmm. I was letting them perform for free, you know what I'm saying? I was letting them in for free. So though. it was a charity case, yeah. you see what I'm saying? So a lot of them, you know, people don't love, people don't like charity. People like when people manipulate them and do all kind of crazy stuff. So when somebody come through with a charitable hand and, and practicing philanthropy, they think that that person is out to get them. But they don't realize, you know what I'm saying, me, that if somebody out to get you, they're not gonna be giving you nothing, they're gonna be taking something from you. And all I ever done in the hip hop fraternity was gave these people something, you know, I mean, it's, this is America. They had the free will and the free choice to come to our meetings. They didn't have to come, you know, but if they come, they're gonna respect what we got going on. They're gonna make sure that they realize that this is a real movement and that we only want quality people, only want serious minded people that really want to see their people do well. You know, there's people that want to, you know, go, you know, and do something, you know, constructive with their lives, who want to sell millions of records, that want to, you know, work with all of these different businesses like Apple and, you know, and Nike and, and, and Adidas and, you know, these other companies, McDonald's, that are working with the hip hop community that's believing in our culture. You know what I'm saying? So this is the best time for hip hop ever in the history of the game since hip hop started over 50 years ago. That African American males and females can actually make millions of dollars endorsing and working and, sh and have equity share in these companies. Yeah, man. I, uh, you know, I follow you on, on IG and social media. I seen you going off the other day, man. Like you had to put your P down for a minute and pick that G up, man. I was like, man, who done pissed the pimp off? Well, you know, it ain't never, you know, you know, a real, a real soldier never let his emotion supersede his intelligence. You know, the battle's always won in the mind before in the battlefield. But sometimes you got to throw it out there, you know, just to let people know that, hey, look, if you cross me, I'm going to double cross you. If you double cross me, I'm going to boss cross you. If you boss cross me, I'm going to New York Chris cross you. You know what I'm saying? So when you let people know that, then they know that you ain't playing. Like I said, I will crush you like an ant, which is, is serious. Anybody that know me know that I'm not no joke, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, you know, like I said, man, some of the biggest bosses in the game respect me. These peons are going to have to respect me as well. If they don't respect me, I'm going to have to take my respect, you know what I mean? And, and they got to remember, you know, I'm a CEO, but I'm also a, 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 a I don't want to use the word, but I'm a Negro as well, too. I don't like using that name, but I can be a Negro as well. Yeah, for sure. Definitely got to respect it. Yeah, you gotta respect me, man, because you know I don't play that shit. You know what I mean? I don't play that disrespectful shit. I don't disrespect you if you don't like what I got going on. Just move around. You know what I'm saying? I mean, don't try to you know play games because if something happened to you, then the police gonna be looking at me like I did it. You know what I mean? Just it, you know, don't jump on social media and talk slick. Or don't talk slick. Just go ahead about your business and let's keep it moving. Yeah, man, we ain't got time for no laws right now, man. I heard when, like when we started, you was uh, making 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 a statement about how you felt about the RICO Act and Young Thug and what they're going through and stuff. You want to touch on that a little bit? <coughs> yeah, well, you know the RICO Act ain't nothing but a <coughs> act they, that the, the, the government created to catch the mob. You know they try to get them with tax evasions that didn't work. You know because they stopped paying their taxes and then they said they're gonna get them with the criminal uh, continuing criminal act, which is the RICO Act, which means that you continuously keep committing crimes. So now they're trying to use that in the African American community. They're trying to lock all these young African Americans up, knowing that these guys ain't never ran nothing. 
They ain't never ran nothing, man. This always been mob ran. You know what I'm saying? When you look at those skyscrapers and all the construction, that was built by the mob. You look at those casinos, that was the mob. You know what I'm saying? We ain't never been no real mob. We say mob all we want, but the real mob is the Italian mob. Right. It's the, uh, the the Irish mob. It's the Jewish mob. Those are the ones, the, the, the Russian mob. Real they mob. the one controlling the Arab mob. They controlling the, the thing for real. But they charged us like we Arabs, we Jews, and we Italians. You know what I'm saying? So you know how you gonna give them that kind of charge knowing that these boys, you know what I'm saying, they don't know what they was doing, man. I mean, everybody in the hood commit a crime. So if you're going to charge me with every homie that I'm connected with, saying that I'm a part of the uh, some kind of RICO and we're a criminal enterprise, then the whole hood should be incarcerated. Because everybody buying some weed from somebody, one game pay another one, you know what I'm saying? If I go out there and I break a bitch for 100000 you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go to Cash, Cash going to sell me some weed, you know what I'm saying? Then Cash going to go get the weed and he's going to go buy some powder. Then the nigga that buy the pot, he gonna go right. throw his money up in the strip club. One game paired another game. That's the game. You know what I'm saying? We all paying each other. You know what I'm saying? Me and you know we all connected. We all in the underworld. You know what I'm saying? All of us is under. You know what I'm saying? Me in this shit deep. You know what I mean? Like deeper than motherfucker it takes to get in the morning, climb in my shoes, to get up and stand up and be who I am and be the man that I am every morning. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know what I mean? It's 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 a a bullshit law to hit R. Kelly with it. R. Kelly uh. Lawyers fighting it, you know what I mean, because they cheated. You know, it's just like if you're playing spades with me and you you stealing cars, you got cars between your toes or you got cars up on the table, then you ain't playing fair, you cheat. So that's what the government's doing. They cheating oh, and man. they're giving these guys these serious cases, man, and they can't beat them. You can't beat a RICO Act because they go back 25 years and if a nigga in jail and he followed Rule 35, and he say, man, I know something on cash, then they ain't gonna let him out because he's lying saying that cash sold him some pounds. So they gonna have him on trial and they're going to have him on the stand, and the jury ain't going to know the difference. They're like, he got to be a criminal of everybody saying that he, he did this, he did that. And now that they know that this brother's being charged with the RICO, a lot of dudes going to try to get back. You know what I mean? That's how they do it. Just like, you know, that's how they was able to get a lot of people to testify against R. Kelly. Because they was going to be part of the RICO. Like, don't nobody want to do no 25 years. Nobody want to do no life. Especially you got squares, man. They working downtown, man. These people are engineers. These people are record executives. They don't want to do no 25 years from R. Kelly. So they know they're gonna flip them, you know, and that's what happened. It's just a, a, a law that's designed to flip the, the men up under you, so they can tell on you and make or fabricate lies and put you under up under prison because they're gonna eventually run to be congressmen, senators, mayors, and they politicians. So it's all political. Yeah, I was telling my co-host today like that shit really like put a big hole in the city too, because like it's a lot of people connected to that case, and they're, they're connected to a lot of people families and everything in the city, not just entertainment. And we starting to feel like that, that hole in the city from all these different people missing. You know what I mean? So free the game, man. Free them guys, for sure. Yeah, man. It's hard to beat them like that, man. Yeah, you so. can't beat that Rico, man. But you know, I mean, just like they admitted 30 years later, you know, after the crime bill of uh, 1984, you know, Clinton and Miss Clinton and all the rest of them, they admitted that they was complicit in mass incarceration and that they overstepped and they should have looked at you know what I mean that's what they do but they, at the time that they're doing it they don't say it they say it 20 30 years later when these guys it's time for them to get out of prison and then they give them all kind of clemency and they give them all type of pardon because they're too old and they don't want to pay their doctor bill their diabetes and right. their hypertension and all the other bills they got to pay if they keep them in prison so now they won't let them go it's just a game man they've been playing on us man just like you know they say if you vote Democrat, you know, the Democrats gonna do this, they're gonna do that. They tell us the same time, thing every time, but they never do anything. Man, protect the black art, man, like them folks saying, man. Everybody go sign that petition and everything, for sure. Yeah, protect that black art. Protect that black art, man. Man, you dead ass fresh over here, man. I see, you, man. You fresh and clean, man. I'm trying to get like you, dog. Oh, uh, man, you know, man. You know, they pay for you what they all like. Right there, it's hard, bro. Oh, Look at that shit. Yeah, this, this ain't nothing for Versace joint. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Versace. 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 Yeah, it will. Versace uh, shirt to match. Y'all finna head out to uh, Chit Chat, bro. Yeah, we finna go to Chit Chat. We there every Monday. Chit Chat. 49. Sip. Sip. Uh, Sip. Uh, yeah, my bad. He's Sips. He's Sips. Sips on cash. We're at Silk. Oh, Sorry, Sips. not not Chit Chat. Next door to Chit Chat, Silks. We're there every Monday. Okay. Every Monday. From 9 until. Artists, tag somebody you know that you want them to perform for free. All artists can come and perform for free. All artists get in free. All managers, all everybody get in free. We got drinks, food. It's a nice ambience. 
you know what I'm saying, hosted by yours truly, Ken Ivy, me, the CEO of Hip Hop Fraternity. You know, we got the mega stars, we got the all stars, we got, you know, the platinum member, Cash, all of them gonna be in the building, Dutch, uh, Richie Rich, Big G, and my nigga PBE Pluto, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we all in the house, you know what I'm saying? We fit a show them what this game is all about, show them how to make millions and millions of dollars independently. For sure, man, we sliding through there tonight too, man. What you got going on, Cash? Uh, man, man, I got this thing I'm pushing right now called Brick by Brick. Brick by Brick. Man, okay. just going All around the world, forms. going up with HHF right now. Show sure. HHF. 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 Brick by Brick, you got like a, uh, an EP and mixtape out right now? Uh, yeah, actually I got a Ill State of Mind now. They got Pimpin' Ken on it. Oh, it's, yes. all, it's out on all platforms. No, that's going platform. So I joined that big list of artists like Ice-T, 50 Cent, Pimp C, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I linked up with Ken and we, and we put it in motion, man. I was one of the first artists of the HHF and I've been down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I see the vision. I want to see it grow. For sure. Yeah. So, so you from down this way, from Atlanta? I'm actually from East St. Louis, Illinois. Okay, okay. How long you been down here? Uh, man, I've been coming down here since 2020. <coughs> bro, I came down here to open up for Mo 3. You know, I don't smoke weed, but. <laughs> That's all right. Now, you can smoke it. I, I, I like the way it makes me cough. Keep smoking. Okay, okay. It makes me feel like I'm getting high, son. <laughs> I feel like I'm high. I don't know. I might be high. Is I'm I'm twitching. I'm twitching. You're twitching. You're cool. I might be twitching and shit. I don't know. That's How you make good feel? weed. Man, I, um, I actually came down to Columbia, Georgia to open up for Mo 3. And that prom I killed it. The promoter was like, man, come up to Atlanta and open up for Fujiano and Money Moo. When I got to I got off the stage at the Fujiano show, and my people was like, man, Pippa Ken said, come to this section. I'm like, man, y'all lying, y'all capping, you know what I'm saying? Right. But I had met him 10 years prior, though, on my birthday in East St. Louis, though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, I'm going to go holler at him. We go holler at him. He was like, man, come to my crib the next day. I got whatever you need. We're going to start this hip hop fraternity. I'm like, man, I gotta go to the crib. He's like, I think you should come. I don't think you should pass this up. Yeah. So I went and linked with him, man. What I seen, man, was so many black people in the room coming together. That was something I had never seen before. Coming from East St. Louis, it's like the murder capital. You know what I'm saying? People don't come together, it's every man for themselves. So seeing that, I was like, man, I wanna be a part of this. That's how I linked up with King. Hey, what's up, man? That's dope, right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man, him and Claybo and, uh, you know, a lot of uh, original people, man, that came through Genesis, you know what I'm saying? There's like six of us, uh, Bado, you know what I mean? It was only six of us. Then it went from six to 16, out, Bado, 16 to 160, to 160 to presently. Today we have 2,800 members. Y'all can join at the hiphopfraternity.com. Just put sign up and become a member. It's free. And uh, you hook up with the team from all over the world. It's just our social media. You can upload your videos, you can upload your music, you can upload your pictures. Sure. Man oh yeah, uh, we're gonna be also uh, remembering Pimp C. So if y'all can make it uh, to KOD, my birthday is June 24th. We're gonna have a little special thing for Pimp C. You know what I'm saying, long live the pimp, man. You know, I know y'all been hearing a lot of, you know, uh, stuff on me and pimp on the internet, and you know, y'all just been trying to wonder out, wonder what's going on. Hey, well, that was my best friend. You know what I'm saying? And for people who keep talking about the sex tape, I told y'all that I seen the sex tape, but it's not who people say it is. I'm not gonna say it's Beyonce, I'm not gonna say it's Mary J. Blige, I'm not gonna say it's uh, Mariah Carey, I'm not gonna say it's Whitney Houston. All I can tell you is that I actually seen the sex tape, but Pimp C wasn't in the sex tape, sex tape nor was Jay-Z or Beyonce. You know, that wasn't the combination. It was a combination, it was an R&B chick. You know what I'm saying? I, I refuse to say the name, but y'all know how it go, you know what I mean? You know, you mention certain things, you know, you break up family homes, you break up, you know, all kind of stuff, you know, so keep the drummer down, you know, and keep the confusion down. That's why I chose to sit beside on who it is. It ain't that I'm scared or, you know, no, because, you know, I don't fear nothing, you know what I mean? I, I'm probably got one of the strongest forces on the planet, you know what I mean? I got, you know, a lot of people down with me. Ain't nobody gonna let nothing happen to me. That ain't my fear. My, my thing is I don't want to break up no homes. I don't want nobody looking at their wife crazy, you know, because whoever did it, this is over 20 years ago, they had to be young when they did it. So yes, I do have the Pimp C. I did see the Pimp C. Uh, I did see a tape that Pimp C had, a sex tape of an R&B chick and a guy that was getting a little money back at the time. He was getting a lot of money. And uh, you know, it was very interesting. And you know, but a lot of people seen this tape. That's why I can't understand. There's a lot of people seen the, the, the sex tape, but they're trying to make it seem like 
Pippin Ken, the only one seen it. No, it's all over the internet. I mean, I mean, it's all over the, 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 the city of Houston. Everybody know who I'm talking about. Everybody know who was in this tape. Everybody know who the dude was, you know. It's no mystery, so don't act like, you know, this is a mystery, you know what I mean? But it's not for me to get no clout, you know, I don't need no clout, especially I ain't gonna use my man Pimp. It was a conversation that slipped out when I was in uh, Texas on the big talk show, and then Beehive, he came back and let me clean it up, and now with my man, you know what I'm saying, we clean it up again, and let y'all know, yes, it is a sex tape, but it's not Jay-Z and Beyonce, I can tell you that for sure. I can't tell you who the female is, but I can tell you for sure, Jay-Z wasn't in the equation, and if y'all want to figure out the rest of it, I'm pretty sure y'all mathematicians and scientists, y'all can figure it out. But at the end of the day, man, you know, it was never meant to be a publicity stunt. It was just something that came out of my mouth, you know, we sat in the conversation. And, you know, it's a lot of things I can tell y'all about Pimp that'll blow your mind. You know, a lot of y'all didn't know nothing about Pimp. You know, a lot of y'all didn't know that Pimp, you know what I'm saying, me, he believed that the Pimp was going to move to the web. You know, he told y'all I was going to go to the web. Now look at it. Everything is internet. Pimp C predicted this whole web thing, this podcast thing, over 20 years ago. Dope Man. I know y'all remember Dope Man Hoodbox office. I used to be on there. I used to own a part of the company. We had the first podcast with Pimp C. You know, we just never got the footage out. Pimp died. You know, we've been doing this. You know, we've been on this. You know, if y'all go back to www.pimpkin.net, those of you old enough remember that, I did podcasts on there all the time. You know, Too Cool for Calm. I'm on there doing a the podcast. It's just the audio. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we've been in this game. You know, it's a lot of things that me and Pimp C did. You know, Chad said he want to play Pimp C if we do the movie. I'm thinking about talking to the family and working out some logistics on that. You know, as the HHL begin to scale, become more prosperous, you know, we're going to be able to buy a lot of rights to a lot of things. And we can go revisit some things. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm positioning myself to be in the position where I can take over a lot of things and help a lot of people from back in the day get back on their feet and get their just do. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I'm an old school player. You know what I mean? I go from way back in the days. You know what I'm saying? I, re I revamped my career. I reinvented myself. I'm back out in front of all these young people. These young people are watching me now. So I don't want to talk long, but yeah. Oh, man, get it out, man. You got to let these folks know. Yeah, I mean, folks always coming up with their side of the story. I don't know what the hell they be talking about out here, man. Well, the side of my story is that Pimp C was not in no sex tape. <laughs> That's what all y'all can put that on. Like you, you take that to the bank. Now, did he have a sex tape? Yes. Do I have the sex tape? No. I wish I did have it because I probably would sell it. Unbeknownst. But, you know, <laughs> hey, y'all you know, know how I go, man. Hey. We're setting the record straight. You yeah. feel but man, you know, we're gonna be remembering Pimp, you know, and uh, we're gonna have a lot of people coming. A lot of celebrities gonna be in the building this June 24th at King of Diamonds. You know what I'm saying? If you want a section, hit me up at 404-790-9627 and I'll hook you up. Long Little Pimp. Long Little Pimp. R.I.P. Pimp C. R.I.P. DJ Screw. Sure, R.I.P. Sure. Big Pokey. R.I.P. All the hit Texas. Yeah. R.I.P. Chris Davis, my little homie. Did you, did you see that verse between 8 Ball and MJG and UGK? No, I didn't watch it, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I don't even go to Houston. I, a lot of people be like, why you go to Houston? It's because Pimp C, you know, we had a, a little joint up there on West Time, a little condo, and that's that's why I last seen my man, you know. Uh, I last seen him, in, like seen him in, at the funeral. That was in Port Arthur, Texas, but I haven't really been to Texas. I went one time for the Super Bowl, but I don't go to, uh, I don't go to uh, Houston too much no more, and I really don't, you know, participate in anything that's something to do with Pimp C, you know, because it just brings back bad memories and, I mean, good memories and it makes me want to, you know, like, man, you know what I mean, it's my man, you know what I mean, it's like my brother, you know what I'm saying, we was like tight, we was airtight, you know what I'm saying, and we made a lot of money together, Pimp believed in me when nobody else believed in me, you know, we had all kind of press, we had all kind of articles in the magazine together, we did movies together, we did so much together, man, we traveled, the last deal was three million dollars, me, him, and uh, D. Shea down there, you know, uh, we almost uh, had that happen until he died, you know, so, I mean, we had stuff going on like that, we was going to do a pimpilation album, he's going to talk to Jay Prince about getting that album done, it was going to be just me and him on there chopping up, me kicking the pimping, and he, him doing the pimpilation, it was good rapping. You know, so it was a lot of things that, you know, that tied me in the pimp, you know what I'm saying? So, I 
mean, man, that's my man. That's my main man. For sure, for sure. That's what's up, man. So you got brick by brick. What's next for you, bro? Man, I'm uh, working on an album right now. About to go back in the studio. I did Ill State of Mind and uh, Street Is X, 2 Chain Studio. For sure. So about to go back in the studio, drop an album. And uh, finishing up my book, so I have a book coming out and an album at the same time. Me and P yeah. gonna do something yeah. sure. with my book. I gotta get with you too on, on my book. Uh, uh, Make it happen, huh? Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. I know you been doing your thing on the books, on the book deal, behind the scenes, you know that business, man. Man, I got Ice T book in the in the car. I forgot to bring it up. Oh yeah, we got Ice T book out right now. Split decision out right now. Ice T and Boosie book out uh, uh, across the track. Go look it up on Amazon right now. My book, The 48 Laws of Game and The Art of Human Chess. Y'all go get that. Yeah, man, I support everything. HHF, support everything. Pepper Kid, man. And you know we good telling y'all to do that. You know, Shout out to my home. man Gino down there in Mississippi, man. Bigsburg, my little cousin, man. You know what I'm saying? He helped me and Pepsi yeah, down when them niggas talking shit. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Gino and the Goon Squad. Yeah. Tell them where the fuck follow you at, bro. Oh, make sure you go to www.thehiphopfraternity.com, sign up, create a page, and add me as a friend on there first. And then make sure you go to IG and follow me on at jetboycaz underscore 19. Go follow Pimp Ken at the Real Pimp Real Pimp Ken underscore. You can follow me at uh, Amazon and go type in my name, Pimp Ken. Go to audiobook.com, type my name, Pimp Ken, get all my merchandise. Yeah. Peace, man. Have a good. We got Keep another meeting to attend to. Love y'all. Get up out of here. Appreciate it, man. man. Appreciate you, Pimp. For sure, for sure. We got to have you up catching me. Yeah, I'm going out here. Man. <laughs> hey, I really couldn't make it, but I know I couldn't still stand you up, man. Oh, man. That's, that's all good, man. I appreciate it, man. Uh, just let me know when we can get up and uh, get, and get to all the stuff. Let's do another one, man. Let's uh, do another one probably next week with all the whole team. All right, bet. All right, bet.